Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and this is our sixth video on React with the Redux. In this video, we are gonna make a carting system and this will be the static HTML and CSS. In the upcoming video, we will make it working, right? So why I am just going to put here uh, simple HTML CSS here so that you can just get to know what is the plan of upcoming video. In this video, I will just make the, this kind of stuff from the scratch. I will just erase this code and we'll do it from the very scratch, right? Yeah, what we'll do in the upcoming video on the add to cart button, the item will be added in our bucket, right? E-commerce site like Amazon, we just want to buy some items, then we will just click on the add to cart and the items will be added to our bucket, right? And we will do it everything in the Redux flow, right? Because basically this is the Redux uh, tutorial. So we will just go with this flow also, right? So now just uh, let me erase this code so i'm just going to pause the video for a moment yep so now we are on the home which is uh, uh, you can see that on the, on the previous video where we just uh, create the folder and file structure so what i'm just going to do in this video first of all i will just import this home component to the container and container to the app.js now why i am not going to import the home component directly in the app because in the home container, we will connect our Redux with the React, right? So that's why we need to import the home component to the home container. So now let's uh, just a moment look out on the official uh, documentation, how they are actually doing it, right? So I just want to show you that we are just following the same thing and this is the recommended way maybe you are confused that why we are just actually doing this so here you can see that this is the container and in the container we they are actually import a to-do list component and uh, this is basically in the uh, container and they here uh, uh, connect the redux with the react right and here you can see that they use the two functions map state to prop map state to dispatch in this video i'm not going to explain these things and neither i'm just going to use them because i will just make a separate video on these two things they are actually important right so now let's uh, just import the home component to the container and then container in the app so just right here import some uh, react from react mm -hmm react and uh, now just uh, make a function like home like this and now just uh, return here like uh, div and just make your h1 tag and put here like home component or some other text whatever you want and let's export it export default our component which is home now let's import this exported component in the container so just write here import uh, home from uh, component home right and just export it directly for a moment we are uh, not using the Redux functions because this is the static video. In the upcoming video, I will explain the uh, mapping and all with the React and Redux, right? So just right here, export default home, right? And uh, in the app, just simply use here import home container. from just simply use a container and home container right and let's remove this all stuff from here and put home com container and now you can see that we are able to just uh, see the home component here that's working fine now let's add the some more style and first of all let's uh, simply add the HTML so what I'm just going to do Let's close these files. I don't need for them. And uh, just simply take a div 
right and uh, this we can just make it a card wrapper so just write her class name and it can be a card wrapper mm, right like this and now mm, let's make another div just take a image here image src will be something and uh, then let's just close this image tag like this right and here let's add some more uh, class name one is i just want to uh, add the text wrapper and uh, another one is the item right and let's make some uh, copy of it for the text and for the button right and just simply add here a span and uh, in this span we can just write here iphone right and in the another span we can uh, just write here price uh, like uh, one thousand dollar and all right and the last one let's add a button right like this just put here add to cart like this so what we are able to see that like this right so just add this image in the cart image like here now what we got here like this right so but this is not looking cool okay so now just uh, add some classes here uh, css to the classes actually so just add here uh, app css and uh, here we will just going to write here style within these command box right between them so first of all i am just going to create a dot card wrapper like this and uh, just use it like this card wrapper is fine then we can just use here dot item we'll do some style here and uh, that's all for a moment first of all let's okay so we will do this style here so that you can just uh, watch everything that what actually going on right so uh, first of all let's on the cart just add here some style like uh, mm -hmm. put here height can be like uh, 100 pixel width can be like 500 pixel and uh, let's add a border also like border uh, one pixel solid and uh, let's add here you will able to see this kind of here because image is a large for a moment we will just uh, make it uh, small in the size but, but just give me a moment like this right so now we can just add this thing directly to the here uh, the card wrapper right now uh, first of all i just want to control this uh, image because uh, it's really horrible right so uh, just simply add here with like uh, 100 pixel right so just use here mm, 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 mm. this is all okay so we, we just uh, by mistakenly put the same class name with the all so just simply add here img wrapper text wrapper and btn wrapper right copy this one just put here dot class then img and uh, width can be like 100 or uh, let's say 150 pixel i think 100 is actually very small that's great right now let's come to the item and uh, just use here left float left float left we got the all items in the float left that's great and uh, then we can just add here uh, width for the every block every item like width 
120 pixel right and uh, padding can be like uh, 20 pixel if you want and we can also add a height if you want mm, okay just just make it a uh, display inline block right so that uh, we can just choose like this and uh, height can be like uh, 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 mm, 75 pixel yeah with that thing i think uh, image is little bit large so let's make it uh, 100 only right so now what we are able to see here um did i okay i think i just uh, missed the style or not mm -mm. okay so just add the style again with it float left and height can be like uh, 75 pixel that's okay padding can be 20 pixel right okay so now uh, it will uh, looking more nice right then let's add the but style sum to the, this button so just add here background color can be red oh my bad color can be like white right padding like um, how much padding we can add 10 pixel that's okay border 0 pixel border radius um, can be 10 pixel no 10 pixel is too much let's make it 5 and uh, box shadow we can also add here right so just add here box shadow first of all let's put here color like this then one pixel for the up shadow one pixel for the down shadow shadow and five four pixel for the spread this uh, uh, color you can see that right uh, 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 right or I did something wrong okay so just make it dark little bit like this or just uh, for simply you can just put here a color like this so let's copy this and uh, add here like this and here just simply use here mm -mm -mm -mm. btn wrapper dot btn button so that's good but there is a little bit more space so i'm just going to put here margin margin top can be minus 10 pixel we should not use actually minus but for a moment that's okay because uh, we are actually just want to make this happen right so all right so we just got everything but uh, we should be just uh, make some space from that side also right so that what i'm just going to do let me just make some mm, margin left like 10 percent right that's good for a moment that's enough okay so that's okay so now we have to add an image here also so this is the image for the logo and uh, now let's go to the home make here a div on a top like this just put here img src right and uh, on the div let's add any class here if you want like class name can be uh, add to cart right 
and let's add some CSS here also. IMG. Now you can see that this is uh, really big. Let's make it small. Hmm. Okay, uh, width like uh, 90 pixel. Position we can put absolute. Left. No, let's make it right. Zero. Well, let's make it. Uh, pixel not enough actually let's make it 10 right and uh, let's make it top 10 pixel again so now this is looking fine so just add this code to the here also so now you will find that our uh, static HTML page will be ready in the upcoming video we will work on the action then reducer and after that uh, we are able to just achieve the functionality that we will add we will click on this add to cart button and we will just get the data here right so thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have any query then please ask me in the comment box and i appreciate if you will provide me the review for this my complete redux and react session right bye bye take care